Hello, in this video I want to show you how to use the Droid R framework in your own project. So you have to first you have to check out the source code. Just copy the this link here and go to your Eclipse pro, uh, application and edit as a new S4N repository. You can do this here. Just paste it and, and do this and then it will be added here and you can open the project and just select checkout on this folder here, not on this one, because otherwise it won't be detected as a um, project, say finish. If it doesn't work the first time for you, I had some problems doing this, but on the second time it will always work. So let's go to the Java view and add another project our demo project uh, project um, you should use an uh, Google API's version of Android because you might want to use the, the map view and I will use the 1.6 version just say demo demo main okay let's create this these errors here you can remove them by just clearing your workspace once and they should disappear and yeah this is a, the droid r the complete um, framework you can execute this as an android application then this activity here will be launched and you can try all the demo setups i already implemented but for this demo we have to set it to an as library so that we can use it in our own project and now we can add it here as a library and then we are allowed to use it in our demo project yeah um, to display the rr activity for example we of course we have to add this to our android manifest so open it go to the xml view i think that's the easiest way you can copy all the required activities from the droid r xml manifest and just go to the xml view here you have all the needed activities i think it's six about six at the moment and you can just paste them here in your demo project manifest and you also have to add all the permissions needed by the framework for example the camera permission and the GPS location permission and um, yeah, also add this and also for bigger screens like on the galaxy tab you should also add this one so just paste it here save this and now you should be able to launch the RR activity um, let's go back to our demo project open the main activity I will change this to a simple button layout new button this and set be uh, set on click listener new click listener organizes and then we want to display the RR view um, when we click this button so we say RR activity this is an um, activity I created to make life easier for you so you just have to say our activity start with setup then you have to specify the current activity so main this and the setup you want to use the setup represents all the you know, settings and all the, the what should happen if you uh, click the R activity and which object should be displayed and how the UI should look like of the R activity all this is defined in a setup and I created a I called it default R setup let's create there it is oh, of course I have to say new create an anonymous class of this uh, right. okay this way okay 
they are in this default error setup i already did all the basic stuff like creating a virtual world and creating virtual camera and defining all the needed actions i will explain the the, um, the setup mechanism um, in another tutorial but for now we will just stick to the default one and you can now add virtual objects to your virtual world so just say add and here you can add any type of virtual object for example if you want to place um, a virtual object at a certain GPS position then you say then you create a new uh, geo object I call it um, okay. what the hell this is this really nice eclipse bug which should be removed by the newest version to be do but I don't have time right now to update my eclipse version so yeah. okay new gear object here you can define all the the um the needed stuff so for example there's a, you can pass a location or an address or just some latitude longitude value and um, yeah um, yeah just add something in here and um, do it like this and then you also have to set a, um, a graphics component um, here um, to, to give this geo object a, a virtual um, representation so you can use uh, the object factory I passed here as a parameter to um, create for example um, a virtual arrow and this way the virtual arrow would be displayed at the specified coordinates and for now we will add something more simple again use the object factory to create a new solar system um, 10 meters in front of the user new vector and here you have to specify the x y and z value it will be 10 meter north of the user so the x value is north the, the y value is uh, east and yeah that's how you you um, create this solar system it's some planets rotating around each other and um, you add them to the virtual world and now we can start the activity and then I can show you on the webcam okay here's your air activity and there is the rotating solar system stuff and yeah you can try it and it should work um, yeah that's it for the basic tutorial and um, that's how you create this, this um, simple virtual world and display it to the user in your in your own activity and yeah I hope I sh could help you with this thanks for watching uh, bye